A typical ABG report contains three types of parameters. Clinician entered values, directly measured values, and calculated values. Clinicians must enter certain information like FiO2 and patient temperature because the analyzer cannot determine these factors on its own. The machine directly measures core blood gas values including pH, PaCO2, and PaO2 using specialized electrodes. Other important parameters like bicarbonate, base excess, oxygen saturation and anion gap are calculated by the analyzer using formulas as the measured values. Modern advanced analyzers can also directly measure additional metabolic markers like lactate and creatinine. The combination of these three data types allows for comprehensive assessment of a patient's oxygenation, acid-base status, and metabolic condition. In this video, we will be focusing on the oxygenation part. Oxygenation is the process of delivering oxygen to the body's tissues, beginning with pulmonary gas exchange where oxygen moves from the lungs into the bloodstream either binding to hemoglobin or dissolving in plasma. This is followed by oxygen transport through circulation, and ending with tissue perfusion where oxygen is released to meet cellular energy needs. The oxygenation parameters that can be obtained from an arterial blood gas analysis include directly measured values like the partial pressure of oxygen, as well as calculated indices such as the oxygen saturation, alveolar arterial oxygen gradient, PF ratio, the oxygenation index, and arterial oxygen content. Let's look at these parameters one by one. PaO2 measures the amount of oxygen dissolved in the blood plasma and not bound to hemoglobin. The amount of oxygen dissolved in blood is determined by Henry's law, which states that the concentration of a dissolved gas in a liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of that gas above the liquid. It is a direct measure of how well the lungs transfer oxygen from the air into the blood. So, it reveals problems in gas exchange. PaO2 is directly measured in an arterial blood gas. The normal PaO2 range for a healthy adult breathing room air at sea level is 80 to 100 mm of mercury. For older adults aged more than 60, the normal range adjusts slightly lower to approximately 70 to 100 mm of mercury due to age-related changes in lung function. When a patient receives supplemental oxygen, the expected PaO2 is estimated to be five times the FiO2 administered. Abnormally low oxygen levels in arterial blood is used to categorize hypoxemia as mild, moderate, and severe levels. Mild hypoxemia is defined as a PaO2 between 60 and 79 mm of mercury. Moderate hypoxemia corresponds to a PaO2 between 40 and 59 mm of mercury, which typically necessitates the administration of supplemental oxygen. Severe hypoxemia is identified when the PaO2 is less than 40 mm of mercury and is considered life-threatening and requires urgent medical intervention. Low PaO2 can occur due to various reasons, which can be grouped into five main categories based on the underlying physiological mechanism. The first category is hypoventilation, where reduced breathing leads to inadequate oxygen intake and carbon dioxide retention commonly caused by conditions like drug overdose, neuromuscular diseases, or chest wall abnormalities. The second group involves ventilation perfusion mismatch, where uneven air and blood flow in the lungs results in poor oxygenation, seen in pulmonary diseases such as COPD, asthma, pneumonia, and pulmonary embolism. The third category consists of shunting, where blood bypasses the lungs entirely without being oxygenated, occurring in conditions like atelectasis, ARDS, or congenital heart defects. The fourth group includes diffusion impairment, where oxygen transfer across the alveolar membrane is hindered, typically caused by interstitial lung diseases like pulmonary fibrosis. Finally, the fifth category involves low inspired oxygen levels, which can happen at high altitudes or in cases of oxygen deprivation. 
Clinically, distinguishing between these mechanisms relies on evaluating the alveolar arterial oxygen gradient. We will discuss it in our next video.